And welcome back to the Factor on Censored. We're outside on the Fox lot with H-Town Hibachi. Let's show him, John. We have George out here, the leader of the crew. And this is some Hibachi H-Town style. Now, I rarely brag about food, but this is something I've had, many of my friends have had, and they love it. So, George, first of all, tell us, why H-Town Hibachi? Well, I just wanted a name that really represented the city and just why not H-Town? It's just straight to the point. You know, I wanted this company to be a part of the community and give back when necessary. And, uh, you know, it also has a little ring to it. So H-Town Hibachi was a choice. Now, when we think of Hibachi, we typically think of Japanese cuisine. Yeah. How do you put your H-Town Houston flair on that? Well, we kind of take it away from the Japanese because it's so American washed. I like to consider it comfort food. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had people come from out of town and their first meal back to Houston was to come see us because it's just uh, the comfort they needed after a week or two trip away from Houston. And people are constantly raving over your food and you guys, you move around the city of Houston. Yes, sir. Uh, so for those who are wondering your next location, how can they keep in contact with you or know where you're gonna be from week to week? So we're most active on our Instagram and our handle is gonna be at H-Town Hibachi. No spaces, no underscores, just H-Town Hibachi. And right now we pop up three days a week. Uh, on Wednesdays, we're on the right by the Dynamo Stadium at Texas Tailgate from 5 to 11. That's where I see you on my bike ride. All the time, all the time. <laughs> that's where we met. And on Thursdays, you can find us in Midtown and uh, at Axelrad from 5 to 11. And we just started doing our own thing on Fridays in the East End where we really get to be ourselves. We get to play the music we want. We get to have all of our friends come and join us. We have uh, also uh, food vendors come out. Uh, we let everyone bring the community together. And it's at Divine Shine in Second Ward. All right, let's 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 see some food. So your guy is here. He's about to put some meat on. So, George, come over here, and you tell us what we're seeing. So he's going to put on the steak right now. It's going to be our New York strip. That's by far the most popular seller right there. Um, we like to have the hot pretty, the grill pretty hot. We want everything to get a nice little sear. And, and you once told me the grill has got to be hot. It has to be hot. If it looks boiled, it wasn't from us. <laughs> so you always want to make sure your hibachi has nice sear marks. Um, everything needs its grill time. You don't ever want to see it just plain like it came out of the microwave. Uh -huh. And some places, they just do it that way. But we take a lot of pride in our technique. Um, that's pretty much what we do. So right now, he's just separating everything. Everything needs to have its uh, space on the grill. And he's just going to make sure that's cooked to perfection. And everything we do is fresh off the grill. We never uh, cook it and store it and then just scoop it out mm -hmm. whenever it's time for you to place your order. Everything's made to order. So if you order steak and shrimp, we'll be throwing on the fresh steak and shrimp. And then uh, it all comes on a bed of fried rice. You always get a grilled onions, grilled zucchini. And uh, your choice of proteins. Our entrees has one protein, combos, two proteins up to three. Now, somebody who, who doesn't have experience with making the rice, with making the meat, could screw this the hell up. Oh, so yeah. how did you learn? Was it by trial and error or how? Trial and error. I watched tons of videos of actual people from Jap Japan. None of this Benihana stuff because that's just... <laughs> Don't hate on Benihana. That's not what you want. <laughs> they cook, uh, their stuff looks boiled. Uh -huh. And that's what I was talking about earlier. So I studied that a lot. You know, I took it back to the beginning uh, where it started just so I can understand it. And it's all about technique. It's all about technique. And, of course, it's always hot in Houston, always. you know, just like it is tonight. Like but you guys are out there in the heat. How do you stay cool cooking over oh, these man. hot grills? That's tough. There's no way to cool down at all. We just uh, get lost in what we're doing right now. And then eventually it's time to go. Mm -hmm. And we're sweating our shirt three times over by that time. And, of course, you want to call out your crew. Let me give you the mic so you can shout them all out really quick before okay, the end okay. of the show. All right, here goes Albert. He's the one working on the steak. Uh, Primo, they both been with us since day one. Primo, one of the best artists in the city right now. He's putting together the fried rice. 
Um, our concept is less is more, so you won't ever see peas or carrots in our rice. It's just high quality ingredients. All right, H Town Abaji, thank you guys for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored, and we're about to eat, guys. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you back here tomorrow night on the Factor Uncensored. Have a great one. Cook on.